Okay, so I went ahead and uh, laid out some holes according to this model right here. Um, on this, uh, Alex sent me the file and I printed it up on a 3D printer to kind of, you know, make sure there weren't any holes that weren't going to be where they didn't need to be and those kinds of things. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and fire up the mill and get started. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and uh, drill the 8mm esque holes. Alright, so here we go with the holes. I was afraid the parallels were gonna get in the way and they did, so I gotta fix that real quick. So last, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these uh, big speed holes right here in the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and lay out these other three speed holes. I mean, these being speed holes, they don't have to be super, super precise. All right, let's go ahead and blow these speed holes in it. And move on. This one likes to get stuck on there. Real stuck, apparently. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and switch back to the big drill bit and finish this thing off. The machine's done, hopefully. 
My boy's hot. So we'll let it sit there and cool off. Okay, well, it's done. Um, here's the part. Came out pretty well, I think. Um, hopefully Alex can use it for his land speed bike. Uh, Alex, here you go. Thanks, man. I've already mounted it in the frame. So this is what it's for. It's a head tube for this uh, land speed bike. What cold, <laughs> what cold, what cold didn't tell you is he also made this bearing box for me. That's for the jack shaft for my uh, variator setup. So yeah, thanks, man, and thanks for uh, showing the t-shirt. Thanks for buying. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for buying the t-shirts. And uh, just thanks. I couldn't do this without you. So thanks, man.